Hey, what's up, people? This is Krishna here. Today, we're going to do part two of Vellum Grains Activation Tutorial Series. If you've not watched part one, I will leave a link in the description because we're going to continue where we left off in part one. In part two, we're going to do this. Okay, cool. Let's uh, jump straight into it. But before I, um, I actually do this, let me show you the basis of this tutorial. So a long time ago, in obviously 7th of January 2017, uh, VFX Hive posted this video here, which is um, infecting points using VEX and the SolverSoft. Um, and this is the basis of part two. Now, I will leave a link of this video in the description also so that you can go and check it out. But I'm going to cover everything about this. The problem with this video was uh, with this technique was that the infection always started at frame one. Um, I couldn't I couldn't really change it to when I wanted it to. So in part two, I'm going to cover that also. OK, let's uh, jump right into it. So this is where we left off in the uh, in part one so right there let's see what the camera let's go into the source this time and let's um, disable all of these nodes which are the box and you know the bounding box nodes basically uh, but I'm gonna leave um, enable the color so that it's um, it's got no color basically coming in right let's create a new geo here And this will we will call it infection. And go in, create an object merge. Then we're gonna go into source and bring this over. And let's create a sphere. Call that. And I'm gonna change the sphere to polygon. I'm gonna transform this. gonna just make it a little bit smaller oh that's too small okay like that like so okay and I'm gonna move it over to just about where it's touching touching the pig head pig's uh, nose okay and I'm gonna animate it uh, at 24 and at 48 No, actually, I'm going to animate it at 48. At 24, we want it up there. And then at 72, we want to go back up again. So it goes like that, touches it, and goes back out again. Okay. And then let's create a peak node. Increase it a little bit. Oops. Oh, 0.02. Yeah, that's perfect. And then let's create a group create node and let's connect that one there and this one here and we will call it base change the group type to points and keep in bounding regions enable that and bounding box sorry bounding object okay and that way we know the some points get selected there okay perfect now when the sphere moves back up we're losing the points in the base group okay we want to make sure that they stay in the group so we're going to create a solver we're going to go inside we're going to create another group create here and like that and like that so we need to connect um, the second input over there and go back in to the solver disconnect this and connect this to the second input and now we are going to call this infected change the group type to points initial merge very important change it to union with existing and let's get in the base group there 
and enable keeping bounding regions and then change it to bounding box sorry bounding object again right let's go back out and let's run this okay nothing is happening let's create a null out let's say still nothing happening okay so delete let's select entity points and let's get an infected okay so it's deleted and it stays as deleted if you notice right after that okay I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit so it gets deleted and stays deleted okay and that's very important okay good let's move on to the next stage which is create another solver and this will be our infection solver okay and go inside of it and let's do a group create sorry group copy and connect it to input one because dop import does not have this group yet so we need to bring it in so we're going to bring in the infected make sure the group named conflict is overwrite and uncheck copy empty groups okay and let's create a point wrangle and let's type in at infect equals one and then at cd equals one comma zero comma zero okay we're just initializing our infect group here okay so we're gonna say infect initialize and we don't have the base group here but we are going to type in infected right here because if not everything will be infected on frame one okay so let's create another point wrangle and we're going to say this is infect spread and I'm going to copy um, a bunch of code. I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to leave the project file and a link to download it in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Obviously, this is an expression from the original infection spread video I showed you earlier. Okay, I'm going to paste it now. I'm just going to show it to you. So if infect is zero, then do a search uh, for near points. And the amount of points to search is based on this channel. And search is this channel. The only thing I added is this color here, CD100, which means that I'm setting it to red. Okay, so nothing appears here at the bottom. But if you click on this plus icon, uh, search and the points to search comes up. Let's set the default to 10 and 10. Let's move straight on to the next one, which is let's create an output here. And let's go back out. Oh, too far out. Infection. Okay. So that should technically work. So I'm going to create a delete node. And create a point entity delete by expression at cd by r <clears throat> at cd dot r equals one so whenever it is red it's going to delete them okay so that works that is beautiful perfect now what we are going to do is we're going to use this and let's see here we're going to call this out solver and if we go back i'm going to switch out the display flag and switch the display flag for grains vellum back on and going to auto dot network into the sop solver which is from the previous part it's part one i'm going to change this object merge here to infection out solver that's technically all what you got to do okay let's play this and see if it works
there you go. Start it working. Okay, so there you go. That's uh, part two. That's vellum grain infection spread. So as I said earlier, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing uh, uh, more tutorials. So if you like this video, if it helped, um, please like, share, and um, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. And do not forget to click on that bell icon for notifications. Thank you. Have a good day.